Shalom, shalom, everyone, and welcome to 50 Days of Empowerment. Today is day 37 as we count the days to Shavuot. And today we're going to be talking about how Yah places a piece of Himself upon believers and within believers to empower them to be able to accomplish the assignment that Yah has given them. If you've been watching these videos, then you've heard me say a piece of Himself. He puts His wind upon the believer. He breathes his breath upon the believer. It's his spirit. It's the spirit of Yah. It's not a different spirit. It's not another spirit. It's not another personality, but it is Yah putting a piece of himself upon the believer to empower the believer beyond his own natural limitations. I want to take you over to Numbers chapter 11. We'll pick up with verse 1 and read a passage here. We're going to be able to glean some really wonderful information here. It says, And it came to be when the people were as complainers, they were complaining, it was evil in the ears of Yah, and Yah heard it, and his displeasure burned, and the fire of Yah burned among them and consumed those in the outskirts of the camp. And the people cried out to Moshe, and Moshe prayed to Yah, and the fire died down. Verse 4. And the mixed multitude who were in their midst lusted greatly. So the children of Israel also wept again and said, Who is giving us meat to eat? So the mixed multitude of people, those who came out of Mitzrayim, of Egypt, along with the children of Israel, they were lusting for meat to eat, and the children of Israel went along with them in their lust. Verse 10, And Moshe heard the people weeping throughout their clans, each man at the door of his tent, and the displeasure of Yah burned exceedingly, and in the eyes of Moshe it was evil. So Moshe said to Yah, Why have you done evil to your servant? And why have I not found favor in your eyes to put the burden of all these people on me? He was feeling very overwhelmed with the burden of all of those people. Verse 12, Was it I who conceived all these people? Was it I who brought them forth that you should say to me, Carry them in your bosom as the foster father carries a nursing child? to the land which you swore to their fathers? Where am I to get meat to give all these people? For they weep before me, saying, Give us meat to eat. I am unable to bear all these people alone, because the burden is too heavy for me. And if you are doing this to me, kill me. Please kill me, if I have found favor in your eyes, and let me not see my evil. In other words, if I'm going to have to bear this burden alone, just take my life. Just kill me. And notice in verse 16, it says, Then Yah said to Moshe, Gather to me 70 men of the elders of Israel, whom you know to be the elders of the people and officers over them, and bring them to the tent of appointment, and let them stand there with you. And I shall come down and speak with you there, and shall take of the spirit that is on you and put on them. In other words, I'm going to take of the spirit that I put on you. It's my spirit. I put a piece of me on you. And I'm going to take of the spirit that is on you, Moshe, and I am going to put it on these 70 elders. And they're going to be empowered with the same spirit that I empowered you with to be able to assist you in the assignment that I have given you. It says, and they shall bear the burden of the people with you so that you do not bear it yourself alone. Verse 24, and Moshe went out and spoke to the people the words of Yah, and he gathered the 70 men of the elders of the people and placed them around the tent. And Yah came down in the cloud and spoke to him and took of the spirit that was upon him, upon Moshe, and placed the same upon the 70 elders. So the 70 elders received the same spirit that Yah had placed on Moshe. And it came to be when the spirit rested upon them that they prophesied, but did not continue. And so one of the evidences that the spirit of Yah has rested upon you 
is that you prophesy. We see that in the original Hebrew scriptures and also in the writings of the emissaries. We see that when they were filled with the set-apart spirit of Yah after the episode in the second chapter of the book of Acts, it started then, and from that point on, we see that when people, when believers received the set-apart spirit of Yah, they spoke with tongues often, and they prophesied, and they praised Elohim. So these are evidences that the Spirit of Yah has come upon you. Verse 26, however, two men had remained in the camp. We don't know why they did that. Maybe they were in rebellion. The name of one was Eldad, and the name of the other, Medad. And the Spirit rested upon them. Now they were among those listed but did not go out to the tent. So they were on the list. They didn't go out to the tent, but the spirit of Yah rested upon them as well, and they prophesied. It says, and they prophesied in the camp. And a young man ran and informed Moshe and said, Eldad and Medad are prophesying in the camp. And Yehoshua, son of Nun, Moshe's assistant from his youth, answered and said, Moshe, my master, forbid them. Don't let them prophesy. Then Moshe said to him, Are you jealous for my sake? Oh, that all the people of Yah were prophets, that Yah would put his spirit upon them. And that is the emphasis. That's my point. Yah puts his spirit. He puts a piece of himself upon believers. Verse 30, And Moshe returned to the camp, both he and the elders of Israel. And so Yah puts a piece of himself. It's his spirit. Again, not another spirit, not a new spirit, not another personality, but it's simply Yah placing a piece of himself, his spirit, upon the believer and within the believer to give the believer special powers and abilities to be able to accomplish the assignment that he has been given. And every believer has been given the charge to go into all the world and proclaim the good news of Yeshua to every creature. And we are filled with the spirit of Yah, empowered beyond our own natural limitations, given a bold, worry-free witness so that we can do just that, proclaim the good news of Yeshua in all the world to every creature. Tomorrow, we're going to talk about what it means to be filled and having the spirit within you not just resting upon you, but having the Spirit within you. Hallelujah. Abba, we thank you for these encouraging words. We thank you that clarity is coming to us. And we thank you that we see that you place a piece of yourself upon us. It's your Spirit. You breathe upon believers. You send your wind to blow over believers. And you give us all that we need to be successful in carrying out the assignment that you have given us. We give you praise and we ask you to refill us with special powers and abilities. May the fruit of the Spirit be born in our lives in great abundance. And may the gifts of the Spirit be in operation. And all these things we ask in the master's name of your Son and our Master Mashiach, Yeshua. Amen and Amen.